Let's talk about fracking in Canada. Hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, involves pumping thousands of tons of sand, water and additives thousands of meters into the earth, which allow oil and natural gas compounds to flow. As we as individuals continue to use oil and gas products unhesitantly, and as conventional sources of hydrocarbons have run out, oil and gas companies have begun using fracking more readily to meet increasing consumer demand. Fracking is opposed by many Canadians for safety concerns from earthquakes, groundwater contamination, and freshwater use. Fracking does cause low-magnitude earthquakes. In Canada, provincial governments and industry monitor this activity, and the magnitude of the earthquakes are so small that only on rare occasions are they felt at the surface. Hydraulic fracturing has been used several hundred thousand times in Canada, and there has never been a recorded incident of structural damage. Canadians have used hydraulic fracturing technology in BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba, and each well supports over 250 jobs. There is no outright ban in Canada, but a blend of moratoriums and pauses in oil and gas permitting in the country. In the United States, there have been cases of groundwater contamination, and these were assumed to be associated with fracking. Scientific studies were undertaken to determine the root cause, and the result was somewhat surprising. The studies determined that poor quality cement was used in the wellbore near the surface, and this allowed natural gas to leak into the aquifer. As fracking itself typically occurs between 2,000 and 3,000 meters below ground surface, or the equivalent of five CN towers stacked, and aquifers are less than 600 meters below surface, the groundwater and fracking zones were too far apart to be connected. In Canada, there has not been a single case of groundwater contamination caused by fracking, likely due to strict regulations that are unique to Canada and Australia. So what about water use? A typical well fracked in Alberta uses 3,800 meters cubed of water the equivalent of 10 Olympic-sized swimming pools and produces 3.6 million gigajoules of usable energy. As the average home requires 120 gigajoules, fracking allows you to heat your home for an entire year with natural gas using only 135 liters of water, the equivalent of a single 15-minute shower in the morning. Canadians demand that our extractive sector works harder to reduce that amount, and rightfully so. Currently, less than 1% of all water use in Canada is used for fracking. Proponents of hydraulic fracturing say that Canadian regulations encourage safe, environmentally conscious economic growth, inexpensive energy, and job creation from the fossil fuel sector. Opponents say that we have yet to gain a full understanding of this technology. Fossil fuel companies do not pay the full cost of their extraction, and short-term economic gain does not offset environmental risks. Energy Minute's goal is to foster science-based conversations about energy. If you enjoyed our video, please hit like, subscribe and send us your feedback. We would love to hear it.